Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. I'm sorry about the lighting, the sound, and uh, well, at least you get this pretty thing that my daughter made. But uh, it's very overcast today and very dark, and this is like the only room, this is my bathroom, the only room that seems to have adequate lighting. So that's what you're getting today. And today I'm going to talk about one of the foundations that I picked up last week um, at Ulta and it is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Airbrush Foundation. It's uh, a mouthful. And I think I showed this last week. Basically what it is, there's a little mesh piece and then all the powders underneath and then you just take your little kabuki brush and there tap off the excess, excess, I can't speak either, and <laughs> rub it around your face. And um, as far as it, it says it's full coverage, I'm not sure how, how you're getting full coverage out of this. Um, at the point that it, it's full coverage, I'm assuming it would look so cakey. Um, I don't know, I haven't tried, I haven't tried that. <laughs> For me, um, I put this on and I have little light freckles in this area. They're not very noticeable. I notice them. But um, I can still see them through this, which to me is not full coverage. Um, but that said, I love it. Um, I don't necessarily need a full coverage makeup. And the thing I liked about this is it seemed like it was buildable like if you put on just a little you would have more sheer coverage so I figured that I could probably work with it um, and yeah I really like it uh, it goes on smoothly it doesn't feel like I have any makeup on and it just kind of smooths everything out makes it look nice and one of my big complaints about makeup I hate when you have foundation and it just looks like you have a ton of foundation on that you're wearing makeup. And to me, the ideal foundation is one that kind of smooths things out, makes your skin look good, but also makes you look like you're not wearing makeup at all. So um, that hits all those marks. So I'm very pleased with it. Um, and as far as, you know, the staying power, uh, really good. I put this on in the morning and it looks good at night. Um, there was one day that, because I've been switching off between both of the foundations to test them out, and there was one day I wore this to uh, my mother-in-law. She splurged on me and um, had me go for a massage, and they did put like a warm cloth over my face, and I was, at the time I was thinking, this is going to look really bad afterwards, but um, it didn't actually. I was very surprised. It still looked good. I, I took my makeup with me and I did touch up just to smooth things out but really didn't need it and um, it still lasted to the end of the day, nighttime when I took off my makeup. It still looked great. I was, I was very pleased and very surprised, um, especially with a powder. Um, I do use um, a primer underneath and I did use my new setting spray, the um, Urban Decay Dislick, because it's summer here and it's humid and hot and my T-zone has been getting crazy with the oil. So, um, yeah, I don't know if that helps keep the makeup on. I'm assuming um, it helped keep the makeup on and the oil away, but... Uh, yeah, it's been working great for me. I think it's a perfect summertime foundation. Uh, looks, like I said, it looks very natural. I think it looks natural. The only two things about it is that um, when I was putting it on, I was trying to go, you know, all the way up here and kind of tap over where I put concealer. Then it kind of gets a little weird looking. Um, it just starts to get a little too cakey, so I'm just kind of avoiding that area now. Um, it just wasn't pretty. And then the only other thing that I thought was odd is that one of my blushes, I think it was my CoverGirl blush, and I don't know if it's just the brand, that when I put the blush over it, 
it started to look makeup-y. Like it started to get that kind of cakey look. And I mean, I'm not heavy on the blush. As you could probably t I don't even know if you could see that I'm wearing blush. So um, I put my blush on light, but it's still like, especially right here, started looking like that, you know, thicker makeup look. But, um, but when I put my, like today I wore my Milani blush and it doesn't do that at all. So I don't know if this and the CoverGirl blush just, you know, don't play well with each other. But um, I'll probably just avoid that, that uh, blush when I'm wearing this. But it's not a big deal to me if this looks great that I'll just, I'll just use a different blush. It doesn't matter. So those were my only two complaints, if you want to call them complaints. Um, but really, if that's the only two complaints I have about this, the, it's a perfect product in my mind. So I think it's great. I think that um, if you're looking for something that doesn't necessarily need to be full coverage, but um, just kind of even things out, make it look nice and smooth and pretty and also look like you're not even wearing makeup, it's, I think it's a great product. Um, and I'm very pleased with it. So. That's pretty much it for today. I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you next time. Bye.